remembering your lower body. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So let's talk about some of the clues we might find when you come here. Here. Right, Let's go back up the driveway. See what feels flat under your feet. You were going down. I know you were going more or less straight, but you wound up down in the street. And once it starts to feel normal, <laughs> then it's just just feels normal. Going down this, are facing our estate sale. Very nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you made a right turn into the driveway. Oh. So now you should know you're up facing someone's front yard. Yeah. Touch and drag, just back down to the sidewalk. Now you're back on track. So yes, the parallel street is Oxley. We've been traveling a while. There, lock your can against it and step up to it. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I'm stepped up for you, okay? Oh, my it looked like you were right. I'm sorry, oh I wasn't ready God. to get you. <laughs> right. It looked like you were perfect. So, okay. let's check your alignment now. I have taught students to, you got that on camera? Oh, that's great. Oh, no. <laughs> Me letting my student tumble into the street. I thought you were pulling, you were about to stop. So you're wow. checking down below, good. You're really facing straight across the street. Okay. Stand up nice and tall. Let's listen. Your timing option here. Good. Good. Put your cane on display. Nice job. Flagging. Good. Good. Contact. Not too much. 
gym car. Sweep to make sure it's clear. Good, now we're doing a little L-shaped route. So continue forward, touch and drag, touch and drag. Instead, you carry it a little bit, I made you do it, into the, into the driveway of the gas station. You went around the side there, closer to the, the, the driveway on Monterey Road. Safer, I think, to go to the left, back to your Fair Oaks sidewalk, and then around the corner, past that, past that planter that you found. There's a little planter on the corner. Mm -hmm. Planter on the other side of that planter leads to the next driveway, the Monterey Drive. On the left side of it, it stays along the So let's try and do that. Let's do that. Ready? Yeah, we're going to go around the planter to wind up on Monterey Road. Try and stay straight here. Is that right? around the corner. So at this point you might have to make another judgment. Do you think you're closer to the side on Fair Oaks or the side on Monterey Road? You might not know, but which way would be feel safest for you to go right now? sidewalk of Fair Oaks. You're going around to the other side, close to the Monterey Road side. And you're on the inside of the gas station. Nice job, Oju. Okay, turn around and face back towards me. You all right? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yes. So you saw how if you got into that inside of the, the gas station a little bit, you're you're likely to not veer way. You can walk in the hall. Alright, so to find the flare, to find the ramp, you need to go back towards your corner. Make sure you knew where that was. Go right around it.
During the sleep shade experience in the community, I didn't encounter any difficulty accessing any um, the buildings or uh, business area. But one thing for sure, um, to be able to very successfully navigating the community and even, you know, also including uh, navigating in the um, the school campus. Visually impaired people, you know, especially blind people, they really have to um, be able to use all the cane skill and orientation and mobility skills so they can be able to find in their classrooms and in the future when they are uh, employed, they'll be able to independently navigate in the, their uh, environment. And also, you know, one thing for sure is that they have to really know the Braille and it will be really empowering them to be able to um, get in the necessary imp information around the buildings or, you know, business area. So a uh, cane skill, it has to be learned very systematically and also uh, they have to learn the Braille. <laughs>